The full process and emails. The microsite sends an, the applicant an email with instructions, verify details and the unique ID. The applicant completes the online registration having received this unique ID. If the applicant makes an error, we can send a new unique reference, i.e. renumber their application. Alternatively, if they don't complete their application, i.e. there's no response from APCS, there is a weekly reminder sent to them up to three times. Having successfully completed their application, APCS sends back the unique reference, the verifier link and the status to the microsite. The applicant gets a confirmation email that the first stage has been successfully completed. The verifier can then use the provided link to complete the document check on APCS's website. If there's no response, i.e. the verifier hasn't done this, then the microsite sends weekly reminders to the verifier and the applicant, up to three. Having completed this check, APS sends the unique reference date and status verified complete to the microsite. If the disclosure is all clear, the applicant gets confirmation that disclosure now is completed and a certificate will be with them by post in the next few days. If they are a volunteer, they get details on how to register their check on the update service. APCS writes the disclosure details directly to the microsite. If the disclosure is not clear, the APCS disclosure is sent to quarantine and the DSAs are advised. DBS can then either be abandoned or posted to a person's record as completed. APCS has various status messages along the way which show the progress of the transaction or if there is any query about eligibility, for example. Emails sent to the applicant. This is the initial application that's sent and a similar one is sent in the case where a new number is required. Here are the reminders to the applicant. This is the email they receive when the application has been successfully submitted. And finally, on disclosure, what would happen in the case of a volunteer? For people that are not volunteers, they would just not receive the bit that uh, shows about the update service. Email sent to the verifier. This is the initial email that is sent, noting that you have the role and the exact minimum check that's required stated on it and whether the position is volunteer or not. And here is an example of the reminder that is sent to the verifiers on a weekly basis. This is the overview of the complete DBS system in terms of emails and the process. I hope you found this short video helpful and please do check out the others in this series. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel so you're notified the next time the diocese uploads a new video. Take care and God bless.